Once upon a time, there was a huge drought. No rain, which meant nothing would grow. And at this time, all the animals had gathered together under a huge magical tree, waiting for it to grow fruit. For their tummies were rumbling. They were starving. But the tree wasn't growing. There was no fruit, no flowers. They all turned to the lion, their leader, and said, Hey, lion, what's going on? We're starving. Hmm, thought the lion. It's true, there should be growing fruit right now. Look, let me speak to my advisor. Owl, owl. The owl flew down. Yes, sir. Any idea why this tree is not growing fruit? Oh, said the owl, glad you are. If you notice, it's a magical tree, so therefore it needs a magical word, its original magical name. Where will I find this out? said the lion. You will need to go to the top of the highest mountains, to the mountain spirits. They hold all the magical words. Right you are then, said the lion. Off I go. Being the leader, I should set an example. And so he did. So he rushed off as fast as the wind, over the plains, through the jungles, to the mountains. He clambered up to the top of the mountains, and there were the spirits. Spirits! Lion here. <coughs> Could you tell me the name of the old tree, so it will bear fruit? Of course, said the spirits. The special name you need is Awongalima. Awongalima. Fine, I shall do that. Then he ran back, down the mountain, through the jungles, back across the plains. But he was going so fast, he didn't look where he was going. And he ran, smack bang, into a termite mound. Now termites are little ant-like creatures, well, big ants, with huge pincers. And they weren't happy having their home bashed into. And they let the lion know they pinched him all over, on his nose, on his elbows, on his knees. Oh, said the lion. Ow, ow, ow. And he ran away as fast as he could from all those termites. When he got back to the rest of the animals, they all said, The word. Go on then, lion, say the word. Oh, uh, I've forgotten, said the lion. I was ambushed by termites. They pinched me all over the place. And for all that, I've forgotten the word. Well then, said the owl, someone else will need to go. Who's super quick then? I will go now, said the gazelle, who was known for being pretty good. I will run to the mountain. And so he did. Fast as the wind across the plains through the jungle until he got to the mountain. He clambered up the mountain and at the top found the mountain spirits. Hello, mountain spirits. Um, could you tell me the name of the old tree, please? Of course, said the mountain spirits. The word you need is Awongalima. Awongalima. Brilliant. Thank you. So the gazelle went down the mountain, through the jungle, and was heading across the plains. But because he was going so fast, he wasn't looking at where he was going. And he ran, smack bang, into the same termite mound. Now these termites were not happy having this happen to them a second time. And they let the gazelle know about it. They bit him all over the nose, over the shoulders, over the elbows, over the knees, everywhere. Oh, said the gazelle, and ran away from the termites back to all the other animals, who, of course, were waiting for this magical word. And when he got there, he said, Oh, uh, I've forgotten. I am sorry. The other animals couldn't believe it. He explained how he'd been ambushed by termites. This is no good, said the owl. We still don't have any food. Who's going to go now, then? <laughs> I'm the fastest, said the cheetah. I should have gone in the first place. Fine, the owl said. Off went the cheetah, as quick as the wind. Across the plains, through the jungles, and up the mountain he went. He spoke to the mountain spirits. Tell me the name of the old tree, so I can make the flowers and the fruit grow, please. Of course, said the mountain spirits. The word you need is a wongalima. How oh, well, Galima? Superb! And he set off down the mountain, through the jungle, and through the plains. But he wasn't looking at where he was going, and he ran. Boom! 
smack bang that cheetah into the termite mound. Now the termites were getting pretty knocked by now, by how much they were getting bashed into. And they let the cheetah know about it. It bit in everywhere. On the nose, on the shoulder, on the elbows, on the knees. All over the place. Oh, said the cheetah. And he ran away from the termites as quick as he could, back to all the other animals. And they're waiting, the other animals. Their tummies rumbling, and their breath held. What's the word, they said? Oh, uh, I've forgotten, he said. I was ambushed by these terrible termites. And he told the tale of what happened, and this is no good. No good, thought all the animals. Certainly not, said the owl. We're still as hungry as ever. Who's going to go and get the word now? Um, I'll go, said the leopard. I'm pretty fast myself. And off he set. Across the plain, across, through the jungles, and up, up, up the mountain to the mountain spirits. He said in a very quiet voice, <clears throat> Mountain spirits, could you possibly tell me the word or the name of the old tree? I need to get all my friends fed with all of the fruit and the flowers. No problem said the mountain spirits. The word you need is a wongalima. A wongalima. Fantastic. He headed down the mountain, through the jungle and across the plains. But the leopard was going so fast, he didn't look where he was going. And you know where he's going to end up yet? Boom! Straight into that mound of termites. The termites were apoplectic with rage. They swarmed all over the leopards with their pinchy teeth. They bit him on the nose, on the shoulder, on the elbow, on the knees. No part of the leopard was safe. Oh! went the leopard and ran away from the termites as quick as he could back to the rest of the animals. And of course they asked him the word. But he had to admit, oh, uh, I've forgotten. I'm so sorry. And he told them the tale of being ambushed by all those termites. Well, this isn't working, said the owl. All these quick people don't seem to be holding on to the knowledge. We need somebody. Oh, how about you? Hey, with the tortoise. Me? Well, I'm really slow. Never mind. Off you go, tortoise. So the tortoise plodded off. As slow as a snail. Plod, plod, plod. Through the plains. Plod, plod, plod. Through the jungle. Plod, plod, plod. Up the mountains. Till eventually he got to the top. Excuse me, mountain spirits. Um, but I just wondered whether you'd be able to tell me uh, the name of the old tree. Because we need, we're all getting very, 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 very hungry down there. No problem, said the mountain spirits. The name you need is a Wongalima. A Wongalima. Right, so hold on to that. A Wongalima. A Wongalima. And with every footstep, nice and steady, a Wongalima. A Wongalima. A Wongalima. Down from the mountain came the tortoise. And through the jungle, a Wongalima, a Wongalima. Across the plains, a Wongalima, a Wongalima. Oh, hang on. There's a termite mound. I thought I was all about into that. So he was able, slowly and steadily, to make his way back to all his animal friends. And when he arrived, they all said, Do you remember the word? Of course I do, said the tortoise. A Wongalima! And at that point, the flowers bloomed, the fruit grew, and all the animals ate and ate and were happy.